Chapter 146, Wang Ang Early the next morning, Zhang Swinning heard that there was a fight in the Kuagong mansion last night. There are people who work in the big family everywhere, and they go out to buy at will, and the news spreads throughout the capital, and then reaches the ears of the masters. Not to mention going straight to the palace early in the morning. Xiao Dingfei is really a ruthless person, and he offended Xiao Xu with one sentence. Which lady can tolerate him speaking such wild words? In a fit of rage, he didn't agree with each other, but he called someone, and the two started to move. Ben didn't prepare to really do anything to Xiao Dingfei. Unexpectedly, this scoundrel refused to eat at all, and after saying wild words, he didn't feel wrong at all, and the people wanted to go up and hold him, he kicked one. Between pulling, it is inevitable that there will be some small injuries on the flesh and skin. This is good, Xiao Dingfei will quit. At night, he ran to the wall of the courtyard and sat and howled, complaining that the Xiao family could not tolerate him and wanted to make money and kill him. After howling, he slipped away, and stayed in the most luxurious King Luzang Jiao pavilion in Beijing that night, and slept all night with the warm fragrant nephrite without saying, and hung up the house account and said that he would come to settle the house in the future. If you prostitute a prostitute, you have to make Xiao pay for it. It wasn't done yet, and Xiao Yuan, who had finally slept with his blood until the early hours of the morning, was woken up by someone before an hour, and it was the housekeeper who came to report with a trembling face that the turtle prince of Zhang Jiao Pavilion came to the house to ask for an account. Xiao Yuan didn't catch his breath, he got out of breath and fell to the ground. The mansion suddenly cried and grabbed the ground. This side of the box hurriedly went to ask the doctor to come and see, but the other side of the box came directly from the palace to summon the Xiao family and wait for the audience. It turned out that Xiao Dingfei came out of the Kinglu and went straight to the palace early in the morning. It turned out to be the wicked who sued first. Handed over the sign and entered the palace to complain to the emperor that they could not tolerate themselves, saying that Xiao Xu was an eldest lady who had no name or no points, but dared to instigate the subordinates in the palace to beat him. In front of the emperor, his clothes were untied. Good guy, sure enough, there are some bruised scars, clearly new injuries last night. Although Shen Lang also had a vague understanding that the current Ding Fei prince is no longer the Ding Fei prince of the past, most of them have become a bastard, but he only went back for a day, and he made a fuss like this, which really made him unbearable as an emperor. No matter what he thinks secretly, Xiao Ding Fei is still his life-saving benefactor on the surface. All the people of the world are watching. At that time, he was furious and immediately called someone to go to the palace to listen to the training. Xiao Yuan's body bones were poor when he was old, and he was finally rescued after fainting, but his body was weak and he couldn't stand up very much, and the emperor wanted to summon him again, so he had no choice but to ask someone to carry him into the palace, and it was good to sell it miserably in front of the emperor, thinking that he was favored in the past, and the Xiao family was the mother of the Queen Mother, should he really treat the Xiao family as a presumption? But who would have thought that Shen Lang wouldn't buy it? On the top of the main hall, he scolded violently, asking if they couldn't tolerate Xiao Dingfei, if they really couldn't tolerate it, then they didn't want Xiao Dingfei to do it, and immediately handed over his position as the Duke of Dingguo to Xiao Dingfei and the Xiao family simply moved out of the capital to divide into two branches, which was better than making trouble all day long. Xiao Xi was shocked. The emperor's attitude was really unexpected to them, and no one reacted, and his legs were weak with fright. Where do you dare to talk about holding Xiao Dingfei accountable? Xiao Xu didn't feel that she was unreasonable, claiming that Xiao Dingfei was disrespectful and offended herself. But when asked what she scolded her, she couldn't say. The thin face of the daughter's family is only one of them. Linza King Shenji is about to choose a concubine, which is the second one. Of course, she has never done anything out of the ordinary, but if Xiao Dingfei's foul language spreads, 
even if she is innocent, it can be spread ugly, and her reputation will be ruined easily, and she will never dare to say it to anyone again. For a while, he was really a dumb person who ate Coptus chinensis, and he couldn't say anything about his suffering. Before leaving, the emperor also gave a direct order with a cold face, allocated Xiao Dingfei a team of personal guards to protect his safety, and ordered Xiao Yuan to punish those who dared to do anything to Xiao Dingfei that day in the name of the following offenses, and if there is another offense, he will not be spared. Pity those subordinates, they listened to Xiao Xu's order. The masters came back from the palace but they had to punish them severely, identified by Xiao Dingfei one by one, all those who pulled him even once last night were pulled out and pressed in the yard to beat fifty sticks, the flesh and blood of the two legs were blurred, and they would never be able to get out of bed if they didn't raise it for a few months. Loyal to the master, but the master can't protect himself, and even pushes them out as scapegoats, where do people think that this kind of thing can be encountered? Don't talk about the ones who were beaten. The other subordinates who worked in the Dingwo mansion watched coldly, and they inevitably felt a little chilled, and from this, they easily recognized the current situation of the Xiao family, what kind of family is prosperous and rich, it is all bullshit. The Dingfei prince who has just returned is the future master of the Kuagong mansion, and the emperor himself covers it. Whoever wants to go against Xiao Dingfei with no longer has long eyes, that is to seek death. Originally, Zhang Boyu heard that Zhang Swinning went to see Xiao Dingfei yesterday, and he had a lot of complaints, thinking that Zhang Swinning should not be mixed with such a disciple, which ruined his reputation and damaged the reputation of Zhang Fu. But Zhang Swinning said, Father, don't forget, I met this person in Tongzhou. Zhang Boyu didn't understand it at first glance. Zhang Swinning smiled faintly again, such a demon king of the mixed world, if he follows his wishes, it will be fine, and he will always return to the realm of the capital. What kind of person he is, and his daughter can see it clearly, and he is definitely not something that our house can afford to provoke. If he doesn't see it, he will be annoyed and shake out the fact that his daughter was robbed all the way to Tongzhou by the Tianjiao rebellion, I'm afraid it will really be a big deal, right? Isn't there another one in our house who wants to choose a princess? Zhang Boyu was speechless. After hearing about what happened in the Dingguo mansion the next day, he sighed even more, and finally stopped mentioning Zhang Swinning's dealings with Xiao Dingfei, and only told her to pay attention to her actions and not to go too far. Zhang Swinning said in her heart, Xiao Dingfei is such a slippery and hands-free person, he was beaten until he cried and went to the palace to complain, and his body was covered with bruises. God knows if it was left by the girl in the building last night, or if he was really beaten. It's just that this person is covered by her, and she can't break it. Seeing that this master with a bad stomach began to toss the Xiao family, she was too late to be happy, she couldn't wait to take a plate of melon seeds to the Kuagong mansion to watch the play, and even after the New Year to the Lantern Festival, she forgot all her troubles, and she was very happy. On the day of the Lantern Festival, Yu Fangyin's letter was also sent from Shuzhong, saying that everything was fine when he first arrived in Shu. In addition to some local words that I don't understand very well, the villagers are also very kind, Zhou Tuajing is in full swing, Ren Salt Factory is reopened, and many long-term workers are recruited, Ren Weizi was born as a scholar, and he takes care of her quite a bit, but he is a little tendon, and he doesn't care about anything else when he buries his head in Zhou Tuajing, but she helps take care of some of them in terms of human affection and sophistication. It looks like everything is going well. It's just that after reading this letter, Zhang Swinning locked her brows instead, and only looked up at the cold wind blowing outside, the weather is dry in winter, and it is the time to be careful of the fire. All new things and new things always have to experience some setbacks when they are first born, and few of them are smooth and simple. I hope Fang Yin still remembers her warning, looks at Ren Weizi, and asks him not to rush too much. Since the accident in the Yanji Marquis mansion, 
Zhang Swinning sold most of the silver shares of Ren Salt Farm, and there are only 2,000 shares left in his hand. Most of the silver stocks in the salt field are only in Lucien's hands, and a small part is in Yu Yu's hands, and the rest are themselves, and there are some retail investors who buy and buy casually. After the Lantern Festival, you will have to enter the palace again to accompany you. She thought about it for a while, and asked Tang Erliener to order someone to prepare the car, and it was rare to go to the Shuxiang Inn to see the situation. Along the way, it was inevitable to hear about all the great achievements that Xiao Dingfei has made these days. His style of acting is already domineering and tyrannical, and since everyone in the house knows what the weight of what he says, how many people dare not listen to him? Originally, it was a good Dingguo mansion, luxury is luxury, and the clan has been decorated with a bit of elegance in the end. But Xiao Ding is not this customary. All the broken wood and broken pillars were painted with a layer of gold, the carpet was to be covered with red, the screens were to be made of peonies, and even the footrests of the sleeping room were made of red gold. From then on, he never mentioned that he was the son of the world when he went out. He smiled when he met people and said, don't believe it, in fact, the Xiao family is up and down, regardless of the old and young, all of them are grandsons who wash their feet in front of the master. Since the silver shares of Ren Salt Field were listed in the inn, Shuk Xiang Inn has become a place where businessmen often come, and because the nearby is the glaze factory, there are often scholars who go to Beijing to catch the exam, and the inn is more lively, and the readers who pass by are naturally willing to settle in it. Scholars are more interested in politics than businessmen. There have been too many things happening in the capital recently, and when Zhang Swinning came in and was led upstairs by Xiao Er to sit in the private room, she heard a few tables talking below. I think this must not be the son of the world eating, drinking, prostituting and gambling everything, it really doesn't look like a good thing, but the poor Xiao family has been tossed like this, which shows that God has long eyes, and the arrogance and arrogance in the past will eventually have a more evil way to be cured. That's a bit of a problem. Yes, where is it so simple on the face? I don't want to think about it, how the Xiao family was favored in the past. The Yanji Marquis mansion has fallen, and they are the mother of the Queen Mother, so it stands to reason that the Holy One has to protect it. But this time it was good, not only did he not protect it, but he also slapped him in the face. I see, the Sacred Heart is unpredictable, and I am afraid that the Xiao family will be unlucky. The Holy One is just beating them through this certain non-worldly son. As soon as these words came out, everyone was shocked. Even Zhang Swinning, who was about to step on the steps, couldn't help but stop, and looked in the direction where this person was in surprise. It was a long-robed Confucian student. Looking at the appearance, there is no doubt that the reader is a reader. Born is a good look, but the two long eyebrows fly up but are quite uninhibited and free, other people at the table drink tea, but he drinks, I don't know if he drank too much, there is a kind of sparse state, it is dustless under the eyes, a little arrogant, no one puts it in the bottom of the eye. The people next to him were startled, and couldn't help but look left and right, and lowered their voices to persuade him, Brother Fan, you can drink indiscriminately, but you don't dare to talk nonsense, you are drunk. The Confucian student pushed him, Wen is very sober. With a smile on his face, he took another sip of wine, raised his hand and said with a posture of pointing out the country and exalting words, and said angrily, Look at you, look at the imperial court. What a bunch of waste. He Xiao Shi deliberately brought down the Yanji Marquis mansion, and he was so tired that there was no one at the border pass, and he couldn't refuse the totters outside the pass. The saint is really willing to give up his sister, according to Wen Mao, who is responsible for the disaster, who should be called to fill it, and simply push out their Xiao daughter to kiss him. The identity is valuable enough, the appearance is good, and the custody of the totter is satisfied. The more you talk about it, the more scary it gets. 
The person sitting next to him really didn't dare to wait, for fear that this man-made disaster would come out of his mouth, he hurriedly covered his mouth, and said borrowed and borrowed all the way, and dragged the person out with all hands and feet. There was a buzz of discussion in the inn. Zhang Swinning's eyes flashed with a dark light, her brows were slightly locked, but after careful consideration, she suddenly felt that the name Wang Kiffin was a little vaguely familiar, as if she had heard it somewhere, so she smiled, and asked the second child next to her in a gentle voice, who is the one who spoke downstairs just now. Xiao Er let out an O, oh, obviously knowing. While he diligently guided Zhang Swinning, he said with a smile, don't look at the people who are often drunk, but he is a man from Hubei, called Wang Ang, and everyone is called Wang Kiffin, and his talent is very high. Ong Aim. Zhang Swinning's face suddenly became a little stranger, and she finally remembered where she had heard this name. The unlucky leader in the previous life? It was clear that he would take the high school exam, but he had a dispute with someone because he was drunk the day before the release of the list, and was beaten to death by several thugs in the market. As soon as the news spread, it immediately shocked the entire capital, and everyone cited it as a strange talk.